Now, you did this Third Way book last year, which had a major section on Senator McCarthy and the close relationship that he had to Roy Cohn. Yes. And these things were going on in the 50s. Right. Now, in there, you showed how uh, that period segued into the rise of the Kennedys and that whole era, and how the Kennedys were on a number of these committees that right. were trying to figure out the nature of the force that was taking control of different aspects of the government at the time, or making a, a pretty good guess at it. Right. And the connections with Roy Cohn and these committees and McCarthy, I find really fascinating now. Oh, because yeah. Because if we reflect on Cohn, and, you know, he was such a major player in that era, and those really deep connections are really showing through there. And for another 40 years, he went on to do this. Now, he was a political mentor to Trump and his lawyer. Yes. And that brings us to this kind of fascinating idea that you've raised, that we could be looking at the mafia and their deep state influence as the force behind the Trump candidacy. The other thing you should be prepared for, Steve, is a major onslaught from CBS claiming that Donald Trump has ties to the mafia, to the mob. Donald Trump has been licensed by the New Jersey Casino Control Commission in the toughest gaming regulatory law in the country. There's nothing to this canard. These has are the kind of smears that were used on Barry Goldwater, by the way. They didn't work. Uh, they did work then. They will not work now. Has, has CBS made this, done this report yet, or you know that it's in the, in the pipeline? I know that this is in the pipeline. This has been kicking around for some time. Uh, it is impossible for one to be in the construction business in New York and not come across those uh, who are uh, connected to organized crime. But no one has ever successfully alleged that Trump has a real, significant, or genuine tie to the mafia. This is a smear. And again, the proof is that the casino control regulators in New Jersey, under the toughest statutes in the country, have gone through Trump's finances and his business with a fine tooth comb, and he's been licensed and relicensed and relicensed. Right. So um, this is the last dying gasp of the political uh, establishment of those who are seeking to protect the established order. Um, I think all of this will come to naught.